Red Gum Kids, so great to see you again. I wonder if you remember our memory verse. Let's do it together. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. Okay, this time I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to say the words, just the actions. And let's see if you can say the words. Here we go. Did you do it with me? I hope so. This week we have some very special friends who are going to teach us all about love. Check it out. Luke, I'm just going to go feed the chickens. Can you turn the sprinkler on in the veggie garden? Yeah, sure. This one's not working. Nothing's coming out. Dad? Yeah? This sprayer isn't working. Nothing's coming out. All right, I'll come have a look. What's the deal? It's not working. Nothing's coming out. Hmm. There's a problem. It's blocked up with dirt. These spray heads are designed for water only. If dirt gets in them, it will eventually block and the water can't come out. Oh. Oh. All right, Luke, give that a go. All right, a little bit more. All right, right up. I love learning about God and I reckon this garden with its watering system could help us to understand a little bit more about God and his kingdom. So let's go take a look. This tank, this is where the water for the garden comes from and this tank is big, strong and full just like our God. This pipe here, I reckon that's a little bit like Jesus, strong and connects God to us and us to God. So let's go and see where this pipe comes into our garden. So here's our pipe that connects from the tank into our watering system. So if this pipe's a little bit like Jesus, I would say that we're a little bit like these thinner, smaller pipes, the sprayer pipes. And this nozzle or spray head here, I reckon that's a little bit like where our words and our actions come out. So what about the Holy Spirit that we heard about last week with Ellie and Jazzy and Archer? Where does the Holy Spirit fit into all this? Well, I think the Holy Spirit is a bit like the water. The Holy Spirit fills us with power. Water's pretty powerful. So not only is God's Holy Spirit filled with power, it's also filled with love. And just like the water fills up these pipes and comes out of the spray head to love these plants by giving them a drink of water, so too can we be filled up with God's Holy Spirit to love others. This love, with the help of God's power, flows out of us and we can show others kindness and love. Sometimes, just like this sprayer, we can get a bit blocked up. But we don't get blocked up with dirt, but rather we get blocked up with fear. You know, fear can stop us from spreading the spirit of love that God has given us. Fear, like dirt, it just gets in the way. So I encourage you today to not get blocked up with fear. One of the best ways to do that is to tell someone who loves you about what you're afraid of. Talking it out. It's a bit like tapping the fear out, just as you saw Steve doing earlier with the dirt in that pipe. And then maybe that person could pray with you and this is like using God's spirit of power to really push out the fear completely. And then the love, the spirit of love that God has given you can flow through again. 
When we allow God's spirit of love to flow freely through us without getting blocked up by any fear, it's then that his love can flow from us to others. And that, that's when beautiful things grow for God's kingdom. Wow, thank you so much, Heather, Steve, Luke, Justin and Kate. You guys were amazing. It's now time to sing our song, Power, Love and a Sound Mind. Why don't you stand up, sing and dance along. time for today. See you next week. Hey Steve. Yeah. Come over here. Check out this. Yeah, what about it? It's a pumpkin. It's a beautiful thing growing. Yeah, isn't there's it? another one over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah.